Well, it's a big, big night tonight for Alex Thompson. We are here, live and exclusive for Sports Vibe, at the launch of Hugo Boss. And Alex, is that Hugo Boss behind you? Well, you can see it, the big grey boat. No, oh, not quite grey, no. It's a slightly smaller black and white boat down here. Oh, it's that one down there. I was going to say, that big grey one, that's cheating, isn't it? I think we'll be uh, like a couple of hundred crew. <laughs> Wouldn't go for a single-handed race. And you'll be able to shoot at all your competitors as well. <laughs> yeah, good. It's not a bad idea. I don't tell me you haven't thought about it. Tell us about tonight. What's happening? Uh, well, tonight is a combination of like 30,000 man-hours of work and uh, you know, it's a great chance for uh, my team to show off this creation. Somehow they get this thing inside my head and, and they end up producing this fantastically beautiful boat. Hopefully the boat is going to win me the Vendée Globe in 2012. So it's the official launch tonight? It's the official launch tonight, yeah. So what, bottles of champagne smashing against the boat? Yeah, bottles of champagne. Who's going to do that? that? Uh, it's a secret, I can't tell you just yet. Okay, I've got a inkling, I know who it is. It's somebody a bit like you, uh, attractive and blonde. Ah, could be. So it's going to be a, a big night for you, emotional? Uh, yeah, there'll be some emotion, but it, you know, it's just really nice for, for the whole team, really, to be able to show people uh, this, this great thing that we've created. And, uh, yeah, it's well, fantastic. We'll have a great night. We'll catch up with you later. Well, Would it's, you like me to stop talking it, so you can ask a question? It's a champagne reception, which means David Coulthard is here, of course. Uh, DC, you're going to be involved in the launching of Hugo Boss. How exciting is that? It's very exciting. And, uh, you know, I, as I'm now an aging ex-racing driver, I won't be spraying the champagne that you mentioned at the beginning of the question. I now know to drink it. So it's a challenge challenge to see if we can get back to the bar in time. But no, very exciting. We've got the Hugo Boss boat here, Alex Thompson, uh, youngest ever single-handed sailor around the world in 1997, I think it was, when he was only 25. So, um, you know, very talented guy and uh, obviously a successful relationship and partnership with Hugo Boss. A bit slow for you though, these boats, aren't they? Yeah, you say that, but I, I did an event with them uh, ahead of the Fascinate when they do all the sort of corporate days. And when you're sort of jockeying for position with other boats ready for the start, and you think, he's going to hit me, and then you're having to sort of dodge around. And when you've actually got relative speed, even though we were only doing about 15 knots, when you've got someone beside you doing 60, suddenly you really, you know, you want to beat them. So, um, you know, I've always said that anything over 100 miles an hour all feels the same. So in sailing terms, probably anything over 15 knots feels the same. Now, you've done a lot of things in your life, DC, some of which we know, some of which we don't want to know. Uh, have you ever been involved in the launching of a boat before? Yeah, absolutely. I was uh, I was involved uh, for the, the Vendome, Vendome um, Round the World uh, Challenge with Alex. Uh, oh, God, maybe it was like eight or nine years ago now. Um, we did that in, in France ahead of the, the sailing event. So, uh, yeah, I've had a long relationship with with him and obviously Hugo Boss has been a part of this for a number of years. You're going to find it difficult watching a very large bottle of champagne being smashed. Is that an awful waste of a good bottle of champagne? If it continues the tradition of making sure that this is a safe and successful voyage that this boat will set out on, then I don't think it's a waste of champagne any more than when we spray it on the podium. But uh, thankfully I see the bar as well stopped here. So, uh, like, uh, you know, we're both kind of, well, you're a, you're a professional journalist and I work in the industry now in television, so like, if I can put myself into that category for a moment, like all good journalists, we'll make sure we get our fair share. Uh, of you see, you've been dreaming of this all your life, haven't you? <laughs> I'd say I want to use motor racing as a step, a stepping stone. To become me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I understand. Enjoy the night. We'll see you later. Cheers. Thanks. Well, here we are with Mark Foster. Uh, Fozzy, what are you doing here, mate? Uh, here for the launch of Hugo Boss Round the World Boat, which just happens to be down there. It's not that grey thing, is it? No, down there. You have to look around the corner a little bit. It's down there. Because that grey thing, that would be cheating, wouldn't it? That looks like a full-blown full, full blown frigate well, to me. The grey thing would actually blow up all the competitors, so it actually might be a good ploy. But yeah, that's it. But I've never been there a racing boat before, so it's quite exciting. I actually thought it was going to be bigger than it is. You wouldn't get me on that. Really? Well, why, why you're, you're a swimmer and you don't like falling into water? <laughs> exactly. I like having sort of like a cabin, first of all. Oh, all okay. the perks like that. You know, you've got your own toilet, etc. I mean, I mean, how many people have on that boat? Uh, not a lot. Is there six or seven crew? Something like that. No, I mean, it's impressive. I, I mean, I take my hat off to so I'm not being funny. Getting out in the middle of the Atlantic with no one else around and no land, and if you go in, you're in trouble. And it, it, it mind boggles me. It doesn't, I won't put me out of
Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the official christening of the new Hugo Boss boat. I'm joined here on deck with uh, skipper Alex Thompson and our special guest tonight, who's going to be performing the uh, christening ceremony, the very lovely Diane Kruger. Hello. Good evening. Hello. She's, she's wrapped up against the cold. She is wearing a beautiful Hugo Boss dress below the uh, Alex Thompson jacket. But, uh, Dan, you've had a brief moment on the boat here. Do yeah. you have any sailing experience from the past? I have not, but this is very, very cool. Yeah, did uh, Alex maybe showed you around a little bit? He and did. There's not even a toilet on board here, so in comparison to your sort of Hollywood trailers. I know, but he just taught me how to uh, make the wind work for you when you gotta go. Well, and uh, Alex, you um, obviously exciting moment here for you with the, the new boat. Uh, can you explain a little bit to, to the audience here what makes this yacht actually so so special over your previous sailing ones? Well, uh, th th this yacht's the most powerful yacht of its class. And if I normally you'd sail a yacht like this with 10 people, so our challenge is to try and figure out how I can sail it single-handed around the world. I, I was just thinking there that, uh, Diane, in, in one of your movie roles, uh, you played Helen of Troy, which was the lady, the face that launched a thousand boats. So this should be quite easy for you tonight, just to launch one. Oh Knock on wood. <laughs> We'll see what goes. So it must take a great resilience to, to take yourself out into the sea like that. It's very impressive. Um, I'm sure everyone will join me in uh, wishing you much success in your endeavours. We hope, of course, this is a successful sailing boat for you. And I think that without further ado, we should ask Diane to perform the official christening ceremony of the new Cuba Boss boat. She's been practicing with the champagne. I christen this boat, Hugo Boss, God bless her and all that sail in it. Oh. I need to know more about please. Yeah. Just one thing I'd like to say, you know, this boat took 45,000 man hours to build. There are a few people on this boat who I have to thank. That's my team. Thank you, everyone. So, Diane, you've just christened and launched very well the Hugo Boss boat. How did that feel? That was very, very fun. And uh, pretty good champagne action. Have you done that in your own home? I know, I have not. Was it a good feeling? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, um, what an amazing boat. What was it like on board? You know, it's really cool. I mean, I've never been on a boat like this. I'm very impressed. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, I don't know if I'm in it at all. I don't know what, what he you know, does to do with what he does. I'm very impressed. I don't know, you know, it's like every. Job requires so I, for my job, I, you know, I need to be alone three months. Yeah. Yeah. But um, you know, I, I guess mentally though, you know, you need to be prepared yourself to something that is that sort of you share. But you know, I just think it's uh, very crazy. Alex, so there we go. The boat's been launched by one of the most beautiful actresses in the in the world. It's not a bad life you lead, is it? Uh, you see the glamour, you don't see the harpies, but. It was uh, really fantastic for Diane Kruger to name the boat. It was really special as well to have David Coulthard with us because he named the first boat. And, uh, you know, it was very special and I really look forward to the next stage, which is performing. So, we're off and running. I, I guess so you're smiling, but probably quite an emotional evening as well, in a sense. You know, this is, uh, that boat took 30,000, 45,000 man hours to create, all from my brain. And uh, I'm very proud of my team for... You know, putting the whole thing together and actually they're the ones who create this not me and uh, hopefully now they can have a few drinks and enjoy themselves well it's a wonderful setting a nice warm summer's evening here you are in the heart of Docklands the boats lit up and uh, a far cry from the 70 80 foot waves that you'll be crashing through the southern ocean fairly soon it is mate <laughs> it is a far cry how different could you get a nice Hugo Boss touch beautiful flat water and uh, yeah by December December 31st, I'll be setting off on a double-handed round-the-world race. 
Well, from everybody at Sports Vibe, many congratulations. Alex will be following you, of course, and all the very best with the latest and the most beautiful Hugo Boss.